Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain how to test the ABS system in case you have C1111 or C1114 on uh, Nissan. So let's have a look at the wind diagram and the ABS module itself uh, to understand the fault code itself. Then we start diagnosing everything on the car. So on the ABS module itself, we have a couple of different fuses. We have a fuse for a control module, we have a fuse for ABS motor, and we have a fuse for all the valves. Okay, so basically on the ABS module, you have the control unit, you have the valve body for all ABS valves, and you have the ABS motor itself. It means you may have faults with any of these power supplies. So generally on this car, when you have C1111, it means you have some problem for power supply on the ABS motor. And if you have C1114, it means you have some problem for providing the power supply to ABS valves, okay? And of course, if you have any problem for power supply on the ABS module, your scan tool is not gonna communicate to uh, ABS module. But in case of having problem for these two fuses, you will have the communication and you can read the fault code, but ABS is not going to work any longer. And this is the wind diagram for uh, this car. And if I show you the wind diagram, as you see, this is the ABS module itself. All these are actually referring to the valves that I have inside the ABS module. This is the ABS motor itself, this one. And as you see, I have these high amp fuses, 40 amp fuse to provide power for ABS motor. So this is the motor battery. And there is this 30 amp fuse, which is providing power for all the solenoid valves. Okay. And these are actually my grounds, number one and number four. They are connected to the body grounds. So what I need to do in this case, I need to check uh, these two power supply and these two ground. All right. So because if this one doesn't work, I will have C1111. If this one doesn't work, I will have C1114. And if these two grounds are not provided, obviously none of them are gonna work. You need to look at the ABS fuses. They might be on the engine fuse box or on this small fuse box next to the battery. In this case, they are located right here. So I have uh, ABS 40 amp for uh, ABS motor right here and another 30 amp here for, for the valves. So I need to remove the cover. And these are my fuses. So there is 40 amp here and 30 amp here. So these two fuses, this one is actually for uh, ABS motor and the other one is for uh, ABS valves. So basically you need to inspect these two fuses to make sure uh, if they are okay. If they are not, you have to replace them with a brand new one. Uh, otherwise, if this fuse is blown, you won't have any power supply on ABS motor. If this fuse is blown, you won't have any power supply for uh, ABS valves and obviously your ABS system is not going to work. In my case, these two fuses are okay. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, inspecting the ABS module itself. It's located right here. ABS connector is just right uh, at the back. So I need to disconnect the ABS connector and find uh, two pins for power supply and two pins for uh, ground to inspect them to make sure if ABS is okay or not. And I'm gonna show you how to inspect it. All right, so this is my ABS module. I disconnect the connector first. Uh, all right, I have already removed the ABS connector and I'm gonna need to check the power supply. So I should have two battery voltage and I need to check the grounds as well. So basically for checking the voltage, uh, I found the proper pins. So the first one, according to the wind diagram, select the voltage from here, black lead on the ground, and measure the voltage right here. And as you see, I'm getting and as you see I'm getting battery voltage it means I do have the power over there so it means if you do have the power it means the fuse is okay and the wiring between the fuse box and ABS module is okay as well but if you are not getting the uh, 
battery voltage right now it means the wiring in between uh, maybe it's shorted to ground or it's open let's go for the other power supply So I have selected another pin right now. I go for voltage inspection for the second pin. Again, I do have the battery voltage. It means this one is okay uh, too. For inspecting the ground. So what I do, first of all, I need to select another function, which is continuity. All right, I have selected the continuity feature. So I inserted my back prop to the ground right now, which is just right here. Uh, this one to the ground. And right now, if I insert my prop into that blue prop right there, I should hear the continuity sound. So as I do here. So this one, it means that ground is connected properly to the ground and I should have another ground too. I change this one to select another ground. So same strategy. Again, I should have the continuity sound, which I do. So basically this was the procedure for inspecting the ABS system if you have any of these two fault codes C1111 or C1114. You're gonna need to check the fuses, those two high amp fuses, and then you're gonna need to check the power supply on the ABS module connector as we did. Uh, two power supply, uh, battery voltage, and two grounds must be inspected as well. Uh, if you find a problem uh, in this step of inspection, like checking the fuses or checking the uh, power supply or ground on ABS connector, so you need to go for it to fix it, to change the fuse or to inspect and uh, uh, repair the wiring. But if, if everything up to this point is okay and you still have the fault code, this fault could be coming from an internal fault on ABS module. And as I explained earlier, there are two more videos on the channel for ABS module inspection and repair that you guys, if you are interested to see how uh, we normally uh, test and repair the ABS module, you can find those videos uh, in description. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching.